Hi everyone! I decided to make this video because a lot of people asked me how I, con I did my first contribution to open source and it's actually quite simple depending if you, if you find the, a good first issue. But I wanted to show you how I did it and how you can do it as well. So there are two ways that you can find a good first issue. You can go on Google here and just type good, good first issues. You don't have to write open source. And then you can open one of these websites. I was using this one. So, you know, you can filter by the language, uh, JavaScript, you can look here. You should check, you know, when there was the last activity of the issue, because maybe, you know, the owner of the repo, he is not that active. So you just go and you, you can click on it and it will open uh, on GitHub. So another way that you can find issues, good first issues, is going here on GitHub, clicking issues here, and, and then you can search by label. For instance, label, sorry. You can, good first issues, that's a good way. You can also add the language. So for instance, like I have here, CSS or JavaScript, you know, and you should also have it by um, is open because it will only bring you the issues that are still open and, and not closed or anyone is working on it. So here uh, are all the open ones. Just for the sake of saving some time, I'm gonna try to fix this one. So you usually you have to read the documentation. If there isn't a lot uh, of explanation, a good explanation, you can just send a message to the owner. Hopefully he will answer you back quickly. I read what I wanted. So I'm just gonna explain to you how you can fork, clone, and then you know, you, you code and you create a pull request. So I'm gonna just show you quickly. So here I wanna, I'm gonna go fork and you create, you create a, a, a repo for you. So I, I'm forking it. Then you go to your terminal and you have to create a folder or go to the folder that you want, you want to save that repo. So I'm gonna just save it on my document, document, sorry. Yes, and you wanna clone it. So you wanna get it to your local machine. So here code, I'm gonna use the SSH. So you copy it, go back to your terminal. So git clone, and you paste that URL. So now you can see in my documents directory, I have templates Julia. So I'm gonna go there. And um, the code that I wanna work on is there. I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna do it quickly. Then I'll show you how to push it to GitHub and request a pull request. So actually before coding, before uh, working on your code and fixing the issue, you have to create a new branch. So you don't, you don't mess up with the main code. So you're going to do git checkout b and um, I'm going to just say readme julia because I'm fixing the readme. So I'm on my branch and there is no risk of messing up the main branch. So I'm going to do the code now. Okay, so actually it's taking me a little longer than I, what I expected. But what you basically have to do once you, you fix the issue, you have to edit, commit, and uh, push it to GitHub. I'll, I'll put all the comments here, probably on the video. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a message. After that, you, when you go to GitHub, you sh should see something like this. So with this green button, create a pull request. So when, you, when you're there, you just write a message and you say everything that you've, you, you've done, like the, the fixes you've made, and you, you click create a pull request. 
After that, you just have to wait for the owner to review it. He maybe he'll ask for other changes or maybe he'll accept it. And then you've done a contribution. Yes. <laughs> okay, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know it, it sounds a little confusing and also it was my first video. But if you have any questions, just shoot me a message here or on Twitter. Uh, and I would be happy to help you. And I might try to write it also a blog post so everyone you know can follow step by step since I wasn't able to show you everything. But yeah, I hope to see you soon. Bye.